then we will put our finger under there. We'll do it again. And we notice that as it goes up and down, it stops and halts. It thinks it's homed. It isn't, but at least we see that it's working. If yours does nothing when you put the probe, when you push the probe up and down, that means we have other problems that we've got to figure out and fix before we can try again. If it worked, we'll go ahead and auto home one more time, and this time we'll let it go through the process. Now it will move down until it hits the table. Our Z, our Z offset switch is unhooked and we'll take that switch clear off in a minute. So at this point, it thinks it's homed. And when we put that into our slicer, it will come over to this corner and stop and go to our X and Y uh, positions and stop as well. And then it will begin the print. So, so far, so good. Now that we've adjusted it and it's working, we haven't adjusted it all the way down yet, but we need to get this Z end stop switch out of our way. So we'll loosen both of these and kind of wiggle it until we get that whole assembly with the bolts and screws and everything and the cable off of the edge of the printer for our Z end stop. Then we'll go ahead and tip this up on its side and replace our bottom cover. So do that carefully. <clears throat> And we will carefully replace our fan plug. And then our cover. This little hook kind of goes under our wires. Make sure the wires are going through the slot so that we don't crush one of them and make sure they're going through the slot up here in the right place so that we don't crunch our uh, buck converter wire and then we'll go ahead and put that cover oops like that there we go and reinstall our screws Get them all started before you tighten any of them. And that includes the top ones. Right now we're on the bottom. So we'll turn those. And the long one goes in the back. So again, make sure we're not going to be pinching any wires between our tray and our frame. And we can go ahead and start that bottom one. And I'll tip it up. And slide the bed forward slowly. Put my other long one in the back. I need to make sure that my 
cable uh, for my buck converters coming out of the slot and that is the only one we need to come out of there now and then we can go ahead and install our back screw get it started then we'll turn this around to the front again and slide our bed slowly back so that we can put our last front screw back in which will probably test your patience but perseverance and you'll eventually get there I think I'm going to raise my Z up a little bit so I get my other hand in here to help hold things once you have them all started we can go ahead and snug them down and I like to use the shorter end so that I make sure they're nice and snug then we'll do the back one use the short end to tighten it up tilt it back on its side should allow us to get to our top ones and snug them up the rest of the way back down on its feet I'm still not going to plug in my Pi yet uh, I want to double check the voltage level on that but I do want to make sure it turns on so we will give that a try make sure we're plugged in turn it on and make sure that our screen still works so that it still cycles and if you just want to double check, we can go to prepare and down to auto home and make sure that it still moves. It looks like we're in good shape, so we're ready to do our final adjusting. Now that we're finished with our programmer and our little adapter, we'll unplug the adapter from the programmer and put that back in our box for future rainy day when if we ever have to flash again. We'll go ahead and wind our flash our, our adapter up again, our cable around our adapter just like it was when it came in his package hopefully you saved the little static bag that it came in but if not uh, you could just go ahead and put that I like to wrap one of these cable ties around it just to hold it in place if you didn't save those I guess it won't kill it probably hopefully uh, to just lay it in the box over here and you had two screws left over from when you did uh, the assembly and you should also still have the bag with your extra probe in there do not put the screws in with the probe because they can rattle around and break the probe plastic and ruin the probe so I would probably just throw those in the bottom uh, with your cable and then I'll wrap that one up a time or two and plug it in down there somewhere too just so you've got it along with your instructions 
and then we can close that box and save it for a rainy day. And we are finished with the programmer.